Good morning, friend. Welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation here at the Higher Grounds Podcast. The Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter number 3 in verse 10 said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. The question today is, do you know him? Do you know him? I, I know him as Savior but I know him as uh, as friend. I know him as Lord. There's a lot of people who never get past the Savior part. The truth is, to know him is genuinely to love him. And as you love him, you get to know him. It's just as it is in the marriage relationship. Very few of us really know one another when we first get married. The truth is, the longer we get to know one another, the more in love we fall. There's a big difference between infatuation and love, and many people are simply infatuated by aspects of the attributes of Christ and not with Christ himself. That being in consideration, you, you, have, to, you have to then know the words of Christ were that there would be many false Christs that would come. Here's Jesus' own words in Matthew 24, and it's repeated again in Mark chapter number 13. Matthew 24, 24, Jesus said, For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So in other words, there's a lot out here that uh, is painted up as Christ, but the truth is it's a it's a... It's a facsimile. It's a, it's a fake. It, it's not even a good representation of the genuine Christ of the scriptures. And the, the question then would be, are, are you, uh, are you simply infatuated with a facsimile or do you know Christ? Are you infatuated with a facsimile? There was a um, there was a time in the in the uh, in the nineteen eighties. University of Northern Iowa had an art class. Here was the here was the assignment. Each of the art students were given a lemon. They were said they were told that they were supposed to carry the lemon wherever they went. They were supposed to smell the lemon, to look at the lemon to spend every waking hour with the lemon in their possession, to sleep with the lemon laying close by at night, and then to totally investigate the lemon as much as they could for this art project. When the class finally met together at the appointed time, everyone's lemon was placed in a bag and all of them were mixed up. It was then that they were laid out and the students were asked to come and pick out their lemon. And invariably, each student had the ability of picking their very own lemon out of the bag. Now, why was that? It was because that they had spent so much time observing it in, well, we'll call it intimacy. They were intimate with the look and the feel and the texture and the smell of the lemon. And because of the knowledge that they had acquired and gained as a result of the assignment, they were able to pick their lemon out of the mix of a bunch. All of that being said, it's easy to pick out uh, among the many Christs who is the genuine article. Uh, may I ask you this? Are, are you in love with the, uh, in the, with the genuine article or are you infatuated with a facsimile? Think on these, th these things, my beloved, today. And uh, remember, uh, try the spirits. Make sure you're not being fooled. Have a great day, my friend. And don't forget the coffee. Have a good day.